Lira Finance is an options trading platform built on top of Optimism, a layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum. It combines two things that I'm really bullish about. I think options trading volume is going to increase as more traders discover options in the same way as they have for traditional markets with the Robinhood effect. And I think that a lot of that volume could end up on layer 2s like Optimism where transaction fees are lower and the transaction speeds are faster. So let's take a look at the Lira.finance website. This is the front page and if we scroll down we can see that these are the two kind of customers that they're targeting with their core value proposition. They're looking for traders that want to trade options market and open positions and then they're looking at the liquidity providers that are going to provide the collateral to back that position. If we jump into the Lira blog we can see that they've recently announced their mainnet launch this means the product's live. We can also see that they've received quite a lot of funding for their Lira DAO. This was raised by Framework Ventures and Parify Capital among a few other venture capital firms. There is 3.3 million from them and also the Lira DAO received 1 million contribution from Synthetics DAO. So they're a well-funded project and I think that shows as we'll see as we jump into the platform. So let's take a look now. This is the main platform. I'm going to connect the wallet. I'm using Metamask here. Let's connect that with Metamask. You'll notice that I'm on Optimistic Coven. I'm on a layer 2 scaling solution testnet. This means that the funds that I'm going to be using in this video aren't real, they're just for testnet purposes. So that's connected now, and to place an options trade, you can see we need some synthetic US dollar. To do this, we're going to go to Mint. We're going to mint some tokens. These are free on the testnet. I spoke to the Lira.finance team, and they actually created their own SUSD token, so you can't bridge SUSD over from Synthetics on Coven Network through to Optimistic Coven, that won't work. You have to actually mint the tokens on the Lira Finance platform to use this. That's only a testnet, of course. It, on the main net, you can use standard SUSD. There we go, they've given us 100,000 US dollars of testnet tokens to play with. Let's switch this over to dark mode, and let's go to trade. Okay, you see we've got three markets here. We've got FUSD, BTC USD, and Link USD. I really hope they're gonna be adding more later on once volumes pick up, because I think altcoin options trading, while very risky, is gonna be really big business and a big appeal for decentralized finance option markets. Let's have a look at the expiry dates, and you can see we've got expiries up to August, October 14th. It's currently end of August. There's no really long expiries here, but we've got just over a month and a half to play with. So let's go ahead and look at something for a month's time, September 30th on the Ethereum market. I feel like what I should be teaching people to do is how to do covered calls and kind of sensible strategies. But what I'm actually going to do is just put in a standard call option as I think that's what most traders are going to want to do. So we're going to be taking a strike price just slightly out of the money. Um, in fact, quite a bit out of the money, 3680. The current price is 3186. Let's put this position on, and we can see we've got let's put on 100 STE, 31,000 US dollars. Let's approve Lira to spend the SUSD, just because it's an ES, uh, ERC20 token, so we need to approve spend like we do on Uniswap. And let's buy that call option. So when we're buying a call option, we're basically taking a bet that the price is going to go above the strike price, which in this case was 3680 by the expiry date of August the 30th. So the biggest option market for crypto products is currently Berrybit, and their platform works a little bit differently because you have an open marketplace where traders can trade against each other for options contracts. With Lira.finance, they're actually pricing it themselves. They've got some really interesting smart contract code, actually, which we'll go into in a sec, about kind of the Black Skulls model and how they're using that to determine the price. And they're essentially setting up a liquidity pool that you can trade into, and then they're hedging the risk themselves. Although, having said that, a lot of the risk is actually taken up by the liquidity providers who are providing the collateral for the positions. Let's quickly have a look at our portfolio. So we can see we've got this long position. And if we go to trade, there's one other thing I'll just show you, and that's the puts. So this is the opposite. We can essentially take a bet that Ethereum is going to drop. So we could put a smaller position on here, saying we're kind of we're long volatility, so I think the market's going to go up or down. It's not going to stay the same. And we're going to buy a put option as well, which is going to... So we're essentially going to take a bet out that the market's either going to crash or it's going to go up. So now if you go into the portfolio section, you can see that we've actually purchased a call option and a put option, betting in both directions. Let's show you how to close these up. And you can see that we were actually $100 down on that um, put position already. On both positions, we've lost a little bit of money just in the slippage in the product. So on a $3,609 US dollar 
order without the price moving too much we've lost 217 us dollars which isn't horrific but there is some slippage there to be aware of let's confirm that closed position and that position has now been removed even just with the call option obviously this is just launched and there's going to be some risks involved i think more for liquidity providers but also for people that are trading options because they're going to be holding positions on the platform you can see they've published a couple of security audits already they've also got a bug bounty code um, I'd like them to see, do, do more of that and kind of a continuous improvement process when they're placing updates and having new auditors come in all the time to look at the code base. If we look at the documentation now, you can see this is actually really, really nice. Um, this is the kind of documentation that I wish I could write. You can see we've got some information about volatility, the Greeks, Black Skulls pricing, as well as the Lira protocol architecture. Let me get this up. You see this is built and integrated very closely with Synthetix. I know one of the things that they're waiting for at the moment is a proposal to go through, which is going to allow them to short the positions as well, which means that liquidity providers are actually long the market. So they're going to, their kind of returns are going to be correlated with Ethereum for the time being. And if we're going to quoted prices, one thing to be aware of is that slippage does increase the larger the order size. So the standard price per option is based on a single unit. And if your position size is greater than a sing single unit, then the price you get will be worse. If your position size is less than a single unit, the price that you get filled out will be better. If we jump into the code now, we can see this is really nicely done. It's well commented. It screams of kind of like a professional dev team that have been working on this. And while it is a very complex contract, I think they've done a really good job of, from what I can see and understand of it, to building this out. So we jump into the white paper, this goes into quite a lot of detail about how the option system works, how it's priced, there's some mathematics in here, it's using market driven pricing, there's Vega and Delta risk management systems in place. If you're interested in this stuff, it's well worth a read. It also goes into how the options AMM works itself and how some of the mechanisms on the Lira Finance protocol work. One thing it doesn't mention is a native token or a governance token. I think that would make sense for this project, they're obviously a DAO, there's the, the Lira DAO that's quite well funded. Um, I think they could maybe airdrop or release a governance token and distribute that to liquidity providers, kind of bootstrap liquidity in the future. And that's something I'd be very interested in. For that reason, we're doing a few kind of options trades on this, both on the test net and the main net, just small position sizes, just so I've got an address in the transaction history. So if they do do an airdrop in the future, that'll be included. But if not, then I think it's a really high quality project. And if they release a governance token in the future, that'd be interested in buying out on the open market as well. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Lira Finance platform. If you're interested in learning more about decentralized finance and staying up to date, then subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.